Okay, I'm a 21 year old guy. Full sentences, please. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, and trying to get into dating. Something that came up a lot of times when I'm trying to chat up a girl is my height. I'm five foot five foot two, which is really short for a guy in Australia. Women will mention my height in conversation. You're really short, or you look like you're 14. Recently, a girl I thought I was getting on well with at a house party just randomly said, your height is making me feel so insecure. She was in heels, so quite taller than me. It was weird, but also embarrassing because other people at the party heard her and giggled. Shit like this has made me a little conscious of social interaction from dancing in a club with taller girls to taking photos with them. How do I get women to look past my height? P.S. My girl mates reckon I should try Tinder, but I've seen a bunch of stuff online about Tinder being shit for short men slash POC. Do you know if this is true? I don't know where this comes from, but apparently it's a big, huge thing. Okay, so yeah, I know a, a bit about this. Um, basically, there is a Tinder norm where people put their height in the comments, and like it's a kind of certain group or basically shit people, shit people who like make jokes about that and talk about that stuff. But I'm assuming you don't want to date one of those shit people. What the fuck, man? Yeah. Like what the fuck? And honestly, if you have your height on your profile, which I wouldn't necessarily do, they people wouldn't swipe right on you anyway because they're shit shallow fucks. So like, honestly, fuck them. Like, it's a weird Tinder thing. It's also, okay, I might add, it is a thing that has, this is actually a bit of a personal beef of mine. Some girls do this, yes, and they judge people on a Tinder thing. But this has been really, really talked about in like, alt-right, like, men going away communities, as in, oh, we can't tell women off for this, this or this, but they make fun of us for their height, and they're using height now as a thing that, because some women have like made jokes about height, that now like, there is like, men are just as victimised as women in terms of looks and in terms of treatment and in terms of shallowness and shitness and being forced to look and act a certain way. No doubt those are traits that like men feel pressure to conform to as well, but it has been overemphasised by like right-wing incel communities as this massive thing that it isn't. So I would bear that cautionary tale in mind when you think that this is a massive phenomenon because it's more like a few vocalised people that have been amplified by a right-wing movement that is just wants to like circle jerk about its own misery. God, I've got feelings about this. So, uh, I'm kind of on both sides of this in the sense of like, I actually, I'll tell you, um, I ha actually do have my height on my Tinder profile. Reason being, so I'm 5'1". I'm like, even actually barely 5'1". Um, but it's because I'm so short and actually been bullied throughout my life over that, whatever. Um, I'm so short that I see it as like a fetish. Yeah, almost. Like, fetish is a bit strong of a word, but like, I can see how someone be like, oh my god, she's so tiny. That's kind of, that's mm. kind of hot, right? So I do have my height in that, which is probably perpetuating that some sort of like height is important thing. But then again, it's on the lady side of things. And also, I'm owning it because, precisely because I've had issues over it for like a long time. So I'm kind of just owning it and being like, yes, I am small and like fucking, like, whatever you I don't give a shit however quite recently actually someone was like literally I'm not even joking uh was I, pre I would prefer if you're part of two but I guess I can deal with it like, yeah yeah and What's even the difference I like don't know much. I don't know and so I replied being like I prefer you had I don't what was that I think I, I was like I preferred you had bigger lips fuller hair and also better banter so bye and so, and then I just un unmatched him, you know? But like, it was wild. It was wild. And I, I just feel like this is the kind of And that's that again, as I'm saying, people do actually like pick at me for being too short. And like, I feel like this stuff flies on an online dating scenario that wouldn't in a like real life scenario. This like obsession with these things that like, cause you see someone straight away in a club or whatever, you can see their height or whatever. So you, you just wouldn't speak to someone that way in an impersonal, in-person environment. Yeah, that it's is like. Uh, that definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a, an effect or like a, a reaction. It's a, it's a consequence yeah. of, 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 of this weird language that we have in dating. I was listening to this podcast today and they were saying how like, um, I'm going to go a bit, a bit of a long way around this, but you will see how I arrive there eventually. So it was a podcast basically about how we interact with uh, pictures of ourselves and through different times. So some scientists in the 1960s went to Papua New Guinea and uh, photographed the, the people there would like pa Polaroid and they would show them image of them for the first time and it would be the first time ever that they would see an image of, of themselves, right? And Which is a whole ethical issues behind this. No, but surely 100%. they've like seen their reflection in water and stuff. It's not like the first time they've ever seen themselves. Sure, but not like that. But basically even that ha having that reflection, yeah. so what they've done, what a few of them would do is they, they would put a picture above their heads and there's like crowns and so people would like see each other 
as that. Right. And or or and, or then uh, whenever more crews would come to film them, they already had their acts, the kind of act as such. One would be the one that is doing like that with the with the stick or with the tools, oh, and basically so they, they'd be posing, but without being asked to. Mm. And so they were just making analogies like, but isn't that how we use social media right now? So for instance, Instagram is so curated. There are maybe five different maximum poses mm. as to how people are on Instagram. Yeah. And there are maybe five different things. So like food, travel, I don't know, that we are actually posting on those. Travel, There's not yeah. that much like random stuff on it, right? It's just, it's very curated things. So we created this entire language around images and or around conceptions about what different social media means it's kind of a similar thing with tinder as in like we decided what are the parameters and i looked through a lot of these profiles they're all the same because they've uh, they and mine is probably similar to everyone else's it's just like there is a certain language that is being utilized and this is different particular criteria but no one's ever asked for it it's just that yeah yeah it becomes the norm of that platform yeah yeah and so people that are outside of that i personally find way more interesting mm. um you might as well i know if, if so yeah, uh, again, if you, you would be surprised just how short a lot of like celebrities that you admire and find hot are, like, you know, so, so Kim Kardashian, I think is hot too, something like that, you know, so, and Tom Cruise is my I mean, we're not gonna lie that like, it is harder for due to a short because there is a societal norm of tall means strong, means protector, means this, this, this. That does not, that is, it will make it harder. It is not the be all and end all. And we can talk a lot about how we should be changing the society things and stuff, but it is, it is a, a thing. Sure, it, it, like, uh, and you've encountered it. For so. me, it wouldn't be because I'm shorter, but like for me, it wouldn't be either. I mean, my last boyfriend was shorter than me. Like, see, that's the thing. I think it's made up to be more than it actually I think is. So, too. so, for instance, there are like definitely the how to say this. There are certain aesthetical signifiers that are more kind of utilized for comparing different people in the mainstream. I just don't know this is one of them it's, well I guess I don't know I would just say don't date those girls like yeah like not everyone cares about that kind of shit not everyone is tall not everyone is sh shallow in that way not every like yeah it just sounds like kind of like you're surrounded by kind of shitty people to be honest like, yeah I cannot really think of but then again if someone was already like telling them off over it like people have done that to me and I know it's easier because I'm a girl and all of that stuff for sure but you know, I don't know. There are certain masculine traits about me, like I don't know, hairiness or whatever, like that that I had to get rid of. And hmm. oh, I guess you can't because I mean, again, there are heels. I don't think there's an issue with wearing heels. No, but you also like honestly, if you dress super sharp and you're exactly. super kind and funny yeah. and charming and nice and listen, like those things are way more important than me yeah. than like whether I'm taller than my partner that's not even something I really think about no like, you just like you distinguish yourself in some other way I don't yeah. know maybe how I don't know, this is me talking to you that or like tattoos or something I mean don't necessarily just now go and run and get like 90 tattoos but like you know what I mean there can be different signifiers yeah. about you yeah hotness is not to me it's not right like no. when, I, when I list my traits that I find the most sexy that well, I have a very particular relationship with height, for sure, because it's something I've been thinking about my yeah. whole life, because I'm just fucking short, and always have been, and, like, everyone goes, hey, you're so fucking small, I'm like, oh, I didn't know you're so small in real life, well, I, I don't know, I just, it's been in my life the whole time, and obviously it's easier as a, as a girl, but yet, like, yeah, I wish I was, like, like, two inches, three inches, no, more, like, I don't know, fucking, a foot taller, I, I wish. And it's funny because like normally I don't really think about my height because I'm the normal height if you like and yet when I'm with Mariam I sometimes feel like massive because when we take photos of each other I look like this giantess next to, next to normally sized Mariam no it's that, the opposite you're that's normally, how I feel yeah, because well. and so it's like it's interesting that it's all it's all relational basically yeah. but get out of those fucking circles yeah. so, oh my god like Jesus yeah we definitely we again the, the, the lefty circles that we're in people that are charming and lovely and sexy in all the other ways happen to be in incredibly strong and loving relationships. Yeah. But I'm just so angry. Like, who are, who are these women? And as I told you, literally, a guy was literally like, if you were 5'2, I would be into this. So bizarre. I prefer 5'2. Like, yeah, that happened to me. Literally, although I'm a girl, I don't know if that's the yeah. like, small is. It's weird.
Maybe do put your hair on Tinder because at least yeah. it's a good way of rooting out the assholes, to be honest. Yeah. 100%. And you know, like, you know, 5 2, but we'll make you come like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. Know, like, be good in bed. Yeah, that's it. Like, Honestly. listen, be kind, it's dress so, well. Like, it's, yeah. Yeah, get a good rap. But it's annoying, again, because, like, right, like, the tall boys wouldn't have to do that. No, right? of course not. Yeah. You have to work harder if you're outside the society norm. Yeah. And that's just like, that's just through and through though, that's just universal and again, we can continue and talk about why that's the case and for sure we're trying to destroy that in our ways, not, we're not doing that very well today because we're watch, like wearing stereotypically. Yeah, we're dressed as love. Like yeah, but like you'll see us next episode, you know? <laughs> but um, yeah, like that, I'm so angry basically. Mm. <laughs> yeah, total bullshit. But also maybe so my last point would be maybe come up with like some kind of like if you get these kind of comments a lot try and come up with some, some comebacks like Mariam's comeback to her that guy saying oh it'd be better if you're this like oh it'd be better if you're that if that girl's like oh I would like you but I'm wearing heels be like I would you I would like you but I'm not a ooh am I getting my earring but I'm not a I don't know I'll be like, like well you're a fucking shit. giraffe like yeah. I mean Just, I wish you were fucking shorter what can I say like <laughs> I like my girls to fit in the palm of my hand yeah, I mean, just gonna come up with some funny like comebacks, maybe that you can whip out when these things happen that will turn the room on your side. Because yeah. honestly, someone pointing out someone else's height, they're the dick, and everyone's 100%. laughing out of nervousness or whatever. But if yes. you find a way of calling out the fact that they're the dick, they'll feel super ashamed of themselves being a shitty little asshole. Yes.